What's going on guys? Southbound truck driver back at you. Well, <clears throat> I didn't get to drop all of my load today. Um, I think I had four stops. And let me get my book out. I think I had four stops. What y'all think about that ceiling fan right there? That thing's a lifesaver. All right. Did he even get his copy? Or is that, what is that? One, two. Yeah, I had four stops. Okay, I'll let y'all know where I'm going, where I was. This one was in, let me turn this fan down so y'all can hear me. This one was in, um, where was it at? Winston-Salem. That was in Winston-Salem. At the Sunbelt place. This one was in Colfax at the Sunbelt place. When I pulled up to that Colfax, I pulled up in there. And they had some trailers and stuff. And they're about to close. Well, they got a couple hours. And I pull up. There really ain't no many places you can pull up. And the guy says to me, listen to this truck start. Shakes the whole air. Imagine being asleep and that thing cranking up. I did. I was like that the other night. I was dead asleep, and the truck crank up. When it cranks up, it shakes the whole truck violently. And I thought somebody was beating on the truck. I didn't know what was going on. That like, I felt it in my dream. Like I was like, what the heck? I'm looking around. I didn't hear nothing. It's like somebody beating on the door. I was like, the truck wants to crunk up, man. God, dog. It had me scared. Get them chips back up there. Anyways, I pull up, and the guy's like, you can't park right here, man. Uh, you see these trucks right here? They're getting loaded. The whole time I was there, nobody put nothing on them trucks. <clears throat> That's just where they park the trucks, you know. He's like, they're getting loaded. And I'm like... Alright. He's like, uh, I need you to park, uh, he got a little hand on his hip, uh, right over there. See where that guy is? When he leaves, I need you to pull up there. And the guy is standing at the back of his truck. He looks like he's been standing there for a minute. As he's leaning on the truck, he's got this look on his face like, I mean, what the, what the, you know what I mean? And by the way he looked, <laughs> I knew I was going to be done way before that guy moved. So I told him, I said, uh, I said, I'll be done before he moves. He was like, uh, okay. All right. I, I appreciate it. And I was like, all right, no problem. So I think it took me like two minutes, pull two chains off, two ratchet and binders, two bungees, uh, put them up, hung them up, locked my thing back, and got in the truck, and I was sitting there waiting on them to move. Um, way over, you know. Uh, reminds me of them people, you know, gets a little authority and doesn't know how to use it. Next, I gotta go to Wake Forest. I believe that one's next. They're in my, uh, they're my computer, you know. So, it tells me which one to go to next. And then I gotta go to Gardner. No, I gotta go to Gardner next. Because I'm closer to Gardner. I try to get as close as I could to it. And, um... You know. I didn't tell you about the wreck I seen the other day. So, I'm driving along. In my automobile. And... It starts pouring down raining. 
starts raining real hard, you know, out of nowhere. All of a sudden, the road's kind of flooded. And I'm in the middle lane. You know, it's about the time where people are getting on and off the interstate real fast, you know. Um, not real fast, but a lot of people are getting on and off the interstate. So I try to stay in the middle lane when my uh, cruise control is working. Um, because if it's not working, man, I'm going like 60 miles an hour. Anywhere between 60 and 63. I start going uphill, it goes down to 55. So imagine doing 55 a lot of the time. And it takes it takes me forever to get where I'm going now. Um, that's why I didn't make it today. Because I, I planned my route like I usually do. And... I tell you what, it took me, I did seven and a half hours on my clock yesterday, and it took me 12 hours. Seven, or seven and a half. I did seven and a half hours on my clock yesterday, and it took me 12 hours. And I don't, I don't stop and get something to eat and eat my lunch and all that. I'll make some sandwiches and drive and eat them while I drive. I'll stop, I'll pee, and keep going. I mean, I'll stop and pee, and I don't even turn the, the clock thing off. And I think after two or three minutes, it automatically will switch by itself. I don't even give it time to switch. You know, that's how fast I am. I pee and I go. I'm, I'm just, I'm on the move. And it took me 12 hours to do seven and a half. So, um, but yeah, I'm driving in the middle lane, and all of a sudden it pours down and starts pouring down raining. And like a little Dodge, one of them little Dodge trucks back in the day, you know, when they made it like in 95, 98. Well, all of a sudden you see him, and he's flying. He comes out of nowhere. Like, I'm looking, I look in my mirrors all the time. <laughs> I see him coming up behind me, and he's booking it. He he's on the right hand lane. So when he hit, when he comes up, and he gets about to where my truck is, a little bit past it, the front of my truck, he hits a puddle of water. When he hits this puddle of water, it pushes him to the grass. Well, he hits the grass, and then he comes back on the concrete. But when he came back on the concrete, that tail end caught in that grass I don't I guess it sucked him back down and hit the grass again come back on the concrete hit the grass again come back on the concrete he was and about the third time you seen him go down in that ditch a little bit more when he went down in that ditch right in the center of that ditch mud and water just spewed everywhere all over the front of his truck he just like he just hit a puddle of mud but it was grass you seen the green grass and everything just poosh went all over the front of his truck um and when he did that little number when he went down and hit that grass and stuff in that mud and it poosh, he went up the up the other side and right into the trees that's all you that's all it wrote because he started slowing down and that's the last I, see. I looked back and I couldn't even see it. Just water was everywhere. It, it done blocked my view of them. I was like, oh my God. I mean, I said a little prayer that day, you know. Um, But I, I was reading some of the comments that y'all left me. And I'm just not, I can't give this, I can't, you know. One guy said, um, or somebody said, I can't really remember who says what at the time. Somebody said, I just got to be correct. Um, give it a try before you leave. Um, see how it works out. And man, this guy right here, my DM. He... You know, I, I seen one comment that said, you know, just do your job. Well, basically what it said was do your job. You know, try not to put too much input into it. You know, just be somebody that makes money for the company. And which I have. I've never refused to load. I've never refused to load. 
because I understand that you're not always going to get good loads. You're not always going to get 1,200, 1,500, 1,800 mile loads. You're not always going to do that. And if you do, then, I mean, you're doing a lot more than somebody else is doing. <laughs> but a solo driver like me, you know, is going to get bad loads and they're going to get good loads. Bad loads and good loads are bad, bad, bad maybe a good load now a trainer or a team driver they're making a lot of money so they're going to get good loads most of them all of them are good loads you know but like solo drivers i understand we don't get good loads all the time and i'm cool with that you know i'm here for six months i'm getting my training i'm fixing to move on out you know so being that said i've never turned down the load i never griped about it um, I made $165 one week. I never said nothing to them. You know, because I keep telling myself that it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Um, it can't always be like this, you know, and you know, I'm only here for one reason, and that's to get my training. So, once I get enough training, I can move on to a better job where I'll be treated better. So, being that said, I just deal with this while I have to. <coughs> it, it, it's not always going to be like this. So, I don't try to fret over it. You know, I know it, it does make me mad a lot of times. But mainly, the main thing that makes me mad is just the childish stuff that this dude puts me through. You know, he acts like a child. And I try to be, you know, respectable and and have a little dignity and treat this guy like an adult. You know, and I almost look at him. I know he's a DM and I know he's not my boss. But I treat him like he's a boss say if i come into a situation and the receiver is going to be closed you know like the other day i i was fixing to get up to where i had to drop my load everything was going good and i called them just to always call to make sure what's the where's the receiving hours you know i always want to make sure because i know a lot of times the paperwork they give us it's not right so i called to see when the receiving hours were and they were closed that day i was supposed to drop the load <laughs> so i didn't want them to say up there in the office where they're sitting not the receiver but my dm well why isn't truck 82108 uh dropped the load why is it still showing that uh it's active and today was the day it was supposed to be dropped I didn't want them even having to say that. So I contacted them. I said, hey, guys. Or, hey, guy, look. Uh, they're not open today. And I'm, I'm fixing to be at the stop. I just want to let you know. That way I can be accounted for. And uh, that's about it. I guess I'll find somewhere to stay for the weekend. Oh, stop where you're at. Stop where you're at. Come to the terminal and we'll get you another load. This dude, I'm telling you, man. I'm t I can read this guy like a book. I can read him. He's so predictable because he's so childish. And I told him to give me another guy. I told him. I cussed this dude out. I, I cussed him out. Um, they would never give me another guy. He tells me to come to the terminal, drop the load, and they're, and they'll try to get me another one. I never asked for another load. I was just simply informing them that I will not be able to drop it till Monday. So if you wonder why the load isn't dropped, this is why. So I go to the freaking terminal, drop my trailer, go get more supplies. This dude right here never contacts me back. 
doesn't tell me nothing. So I take it upon myself. Hooked up the load and delivered it Monday. You know, it's stupid stuff like that. This was a Friday afternoon. This was Friday around 12 o'clock. Like, he was really on my team that he was going to find me another load to keep going and keep making money. Man, this dude right here. I don't, I don't understand why. I mean, he can't have no friends. You know what I'm saying? This type of dude, nobody wants to hang out with on the street. And I hate to be like that, man, but this shit's ridiculous. He's, he's, there's something got to be wrong with this guy. Like, a virgin or something like that. I don't know, man. I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with virgins, but I'm just, like, not a virgin because he wants to be a virgin. You know? But, man, I'm telling you like this. Once somebody does me the way this guy's done me multiple times, and I have the opportunity to get out, <laughs> I'm not fixing to keep walking into a brick wall. I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm just, I, it's not going to happen. I mean, I'm, I can't do it. I can't do it. But, so I've got a couple companies set up. I got, I got Arrow. I got Maverick. I got Melton. I got May. I think the Arrow one, they wanted to offer me, and uh, this is the one I like the most. K and B, they wanted me to stay out a month at a time. But, um, Arrow said between 1400 and 1600 a week. Uh, and then another one, touching the freight, working for Walmart, you know, doing Walmart runs. I think it was like twelve hundred to thirteen hundred, but you gotta handle the you get paid to handle the freight, unload the freight. I'm not doing all that. I'll I'll do the one where you just I think up in Chicago or New Jersey area, New Jersey area to work and delivering stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna do. Um But yeah, my um oh I got a question too, y'all. I know there's a sensor in this dash that tells my AC when to turn on and when to turn off. On the, uh, when I do the auto thermostat, auto temperature thermostat thing, whether it turns on and off the truck does by itself. Where is that thermostat? If anybody knows where that thermostat is, let me know. Also, my, uh, cruise control doesn't work. Let's get to the point where I wiped it off on the outside. I wiped it off the other day and I act like it wanted to work right again. I'm probably going to try to wipe it off again. I wiped the front one off too and it worked for a while but now it's not working again. I think when I got my truck washed it messed it up. But the best thing about this video is, and I fix and cut it off right here, over 500 subscribers. I need 500 more, and I'll start getting paid. And when I start getting paid, I'm going to start giving away. I'll tell you what. I mean, it, it ain't it's money I never had. So whatever I make every day, time I get paid 25% of it, if not 50, I'm going to give away. Give back. So, try to help me get more subscribers, guys. Uh, like this video. 
I just had to make a video. I ain't got much to say. Going through the motions, you know. Trying to figure out life. Got a lot of things on my mind. My wife's about to have surgery on the 21st. Um, I got a doctor's appointment for diabetes after that. And then I got a once a year doctor's appointment coming up a couple weeks after that. I don't even know how I keep getting back home. Um, but yeah. So I'll let y'all know what I'm picking up tomorrow. I'm going to start putting that in my videos. But yeah, I got two more stops and I'm done. So y'all keep on watching these videos. Keep liking them, share them, and subscribe. Make up a fake account. Subscribe. You know, <laughs> I'm just playing. Don't make a fake account. But uh, I appreciate everything. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good night.